Good afternoon on a Sunday. Uh, coming up on, uh, well, it's about a quarter till three. What a wet, chilly day. Temperatures in the 40s. If anything, uh, today's turning out to be more of a constant rain than I was expecting. And I'll show you radar coming up in just a moment. But really, I want to focus on later tonight and especially tomorrow morning when it looks like a pretty good bucket of rain is going to come falling on us. So that's where I begin. Let's go to my uh, posted future cast from KGW on my uh, Rod Hill KGW Facebook page. So this is tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. And this is what the uh, the future cast computer model is showing. Number one, notice with me, this is a steady rain band. Everything in green is rain. The yellow is heavier rain. The orange is absolute, just really coming down in buckets, if you will. Notice snow up here in the Washington Cascades picking up behind the front in the coast range, but that's at upper elevations, not a concern. And then getting into Mount Hood, it will be rain at pass level tomorrow morning. The snow levels are already up above 4,000 feet, and I'll show you my Mount Hood page in a second. But this is tomorrow morning. This is enough rain where you should expect puddling on the roadways, enough rain that at the very least your morning commute driving in is going to be somewhat slowed. We haven't seen a, a pretty good push of rain like this in a little while. So that's the way it's going to look on radar. Everything points to this. One of the forecast models gives us seven tenths of an inch of rain just tomorrow morning alone. Um, so it, it's going to be a pretty good downpour. We're going to continue to see shots of rain overnight leading in, leading into that. So uh, which way do I go? I think I go up this way. Yeah. All right. Again, this is off my KGW Ride Hill Facebook page. This is what uh, forecast modeling is showing. An inch and a quarter, more or less, in Tillamook and Lincoln City, 1.30 in Newport, over an inch from Portland down through Corvallis, an inch and a half in Eugene, and some decent measurable rainfall amounts all the way into central Oregon. This is factoring in the rain that has already fallen today through Monday evening at 10 o'clock. Now, usually I tell you these numbers are probably too high. But this time, I think there's at least a chance that these numbers aren't high enough. I mean, we could get just an inch of rain late tonight through noon tomorrow, and that would not be counting what's falling already now and what will fall to some degree tomorrow afternoon. So I'm trying to build up that I really think tomorrow morning is going to be wet, 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 enough that you should factor in your plans that's going to take you a little bit longer to get to where we're going. Um, we're really unstable tomorrow morning. That's going to help fuel heavy downpour rates. I think the precipitation is going to be so widespread that I'm not really looking for any thunder. And actually, the snow levels are going to be going up, so I'm not really looking for hail. I think everything that's unstable tomorrow will just fuel hefty downpour rates, if, if that makes sense. Okay, let's get you uh, to what's going on right now. So, yeah, we have had some breaks in the rain, but I tell you what, here's radar right now. Well, here's the bigger look. You can see that solid rain that's being picked up. There's a radar site, uh, Langley Hill is the observation spot along the central Washington coast. So that's shooting out what is a steady rain band that will actually, if you follow my fingers, extends all the way out to where you can't see it. Inland, we've had heavy rain pockets embedded in yellow. Uh, right now, there's some drying down in Corvallis, but so far the trend has been once these rain areas move in, we very quickly get another batch. So we will at least see rain at times continuing into tonight. So I want to pull back and I want to go all the way down. This is my imagery page. Again, I'm using my weather site, portlandweather.com. Um, you know, if you just want the app that gives you a temperature and, and a little cloud icon, then that's great. But if you really want something that gives you easy access to some satellite pictures and radar and live cameras for the coast and Mount Hood, in one spot, then I think you'll really like my, my weather site. Okay, let me blow this one up. This is the, the green lines are contours of equal pressure at uh, 18,000 feet in the atmosphere, 500 millibars. And see that enclosed circle right here? This is the storm engine driving what we're getting today and what we're gonna get tomorrow. That's an upper level low. And if you look, there's not like an impressive train of moisture right here in terms of a funneling of cloudiness that really looks like a so-called atmospheric river, but we will pick up an increasing moisture flow down in this area overnight tonight into tomorrow morning that will fuel into this. This low back here is actually going to make another beeline into California. And in the meantime, we're going to see this gap fill in with more rain channeling in. California still, I read a headline of people being evacuated because they're still getting a lot of moisture and whatever we're getting today, they're getting double that. So again, the main storm flow continues in terms of the jet stream, 
continues to be going down in the California. See the 564 contour line right there? That's the jet, and that's moving into California. It's going to continue to pull all of that. We're north of that. Again, there's no real obvious atmospheric river, but there's going to be a pretty good moisture plume uh, fuel into our area without question. So all confidence is high that we will get the big rains I'm talking about tomorrow morning. Okay, let's uh, let's see here. This is the Metro page. Right now, 45. Salem's trying to warm up, trying. 48 degrees. They have a southwest wind at 5. The rain's been so constant, it's been difficult to budge temperatures much. 45 in Vancouver. But we've warmed up about 10 degrees since this morning. So I'm going to leave the forecast high at 50. We may not get that until this evening, but, but we'll see. Salem is definitely the warm spot. I want to show you Troutdale has east winds to 22. That's a cooling agent uh, that's blowing out of the gorge. Those east winds should weaken somewhat overnight tonight as more of a south wind comes in. But certainly a cool, wet Sunday afternoon. I know you don't need me to tell you that. All right, here's a look at our mounted page. Timberline 32. Meadows 37. Remember I said snow level's going up, all right? Uh, they've had trouble with that ski bowl temperature. I don't think that's right because if you come down here, Government Camp's ODOT camera, that is right. That's 38 degrees, and that's a wet roadway. So it's very possible if you are traveling, the snow level is going to be 4,500 feet, maybe even a touch higher overnight tonight into tomorrow morning until that front hits the Cascades. Now, the front we're tracking comes into the I-5 corridor at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. It's going to be a slow pass. So it will probably be afternoon before the snow levels start going down in the Cascades. Between now and then, the passes primarily are just going to be wet. Uh, all of them look like this right now with, with warming temperatures. So that's going to be mainly rain, by the way, tomorrow morning on Highway 26. Let me uh, pull down and show you my forecast. So, so far, Meadows has picked up three. Timberline's picked up two. It's just kind of a wet mix. Ski Bowl had an inch before they started to turn to a wet mix. Then tomorrow, this is past level, four inches. Mostly that would be, in fact, entirely that would be in the afternoon. The snow levels go from 4,500 feet down to 2,000 feet tomorrow. The 14-inch number that you see, that's Meadows and Timberline, 5,000 feet and higher. It's going to be a heavy, wet snow. And then we get into some snow showers on Tuesday, and then right now, Wednesday and Thursday, uh, both look to be dry, day, uh, dr dry days. The coast range is fine. And by the way, just let me, let me, sh uh, let me show you Santee Ann Pass. Santee Ann Pass is often really snow-covered, but even that's 38 degrees. So further evidence that if you are traveling, Rising snow level is going to bring some rain to the Cascade Passes. Okay. Here's my seven-day forecast. We'll see if we get up to 50. If we do, it probably won't be until early evening today. But then whatever we reach later today in the early evening, that's pretty much going to be the temperature overnight. It'll be steady. So I've got 46 for a low tomorrow morning. But we could be 50 when you wake up in the morning. We could hold around 50 to 52 um, until the until about noon or late morning, and then actually see the temperature go down to the 40s during the afternoon. There's not a lot of wind with this. I showed you the east winds a little gusty out of the gorge right now. Otherwise, we have south winds that could spike to maybe 35 mile per hour wind gusts or 40 at most over at the coast tonight. But for Portland, it's mostly going to be a southeast becoming southwest wind somewhere in that 10 to 20 mile per hour category. So really, for most of us, the only thing we're watching is rain with with this system. Okay, Tuesday morning. So now the front comes in. That's steady rain into early afternoon, it looks like, or at least until noon. Then it's scattered showers in the afternoon, decreasing numbers of showers overnight. Tuesday is a sunbreak scattered shower day. doesn't look like a lot of total moisture. The low temperature, I'm saying 37 for Portland, but this is a morning that, that bears watching. If the clouds break more quickly than I think they're going to, maybe we get down closer to freezing in some areas, especially up in hills. An elevation a little bit, it sees a little flirtation with some early snow, but otherwise, that's a rain shower day. Wednesday and Thursday still look to be dry. Thursday is the one day that, by golly, if we get a full day of sun with fairly light winds, the air mass is just warm enough that the sun could do its thing and get as close to 60. I had 59. I've actually lowered it to 58. But this certainly looks to be the warmest day of the spring so far with a chance, a chance, <laughs> to get up to 60, which would not be unusual. Starting tomorrow, the seasonal average high is 57 for Portland. That means any day that's mainly sunny normally would be hitting 60. So we'll see. We have uh, showers on Friday, pardon me, with a weak system, and then right now Saturday and also into the following Sunday of uh, next upcoming weekend. Looks like it's just sun breaks and scattered showers and, and nothing big. Okay, that is your update for now. Let's see what happens tomorrow, and then I will uh, talk to you again uh, Monday afternoon, Monday evening.
have a good rest of your weekend.